Currently, the level of short interest in AMC is higher than it has ever been in the past. Today, I will discuss the topic I need to address. Batman has categorized all the information from before and after the division into several groups. Prepare to be astonished as we await the thrilling conclusion of the film, where we have the opportunity to profit. In the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group, we experience back-to-back -back successful transactions with a 96% gain on WW and a 32% gain on MRIN. Currently, however, I will discuss kinetic energy, so please continue to pay attention. Between January 15, 2021 and March 15, 2024, Batman has organized the data before and after the split into groups. In addition, he modified the figures for the reverse split, the special payout for APE shareholders, and the transition from APE to AMC. The shorted AMC shares range from 10 to 23 million for the most of 2021 and 2022. Nevertheless, the aforementioned figure has exhibited a gradual upward trend in recent months, particularly with the implementation of the reverse split. AMC is now experiencing an excessive number of short bets. The number of shares being shorted has increased from 24 to 25 million, then from 30 to 40 million, and currently exceeds 50 million. Initially, it is crucial to address the limitations of the reported short interest figure. This data is sourced directly from the stock markets and provides information on the number of individuals engaging in short selling of both AMC and APE stocks before and after the split. It is important to note that this does not encompass counterfeit shares or the limited number of shares held in foreign countries. It does not even account for lawfully limited shares that are held abroad in foreign corporations. The Stones Batman has replied saying he's created the chart from scratch using data directly from Fintel. He's also taken the data from when Ape existed and taken the AMC and Ape data and obviously divided that by 10 for the reverse split. And he's even taken the data from Preep and divided it by 10, but also multiplied it by 2 to adjust for the Ape issuance and Ape conversion and the reverse split as well. So the first thing that stands out brilliantly to me is that all of those shields and all of those short sellers that told you. The shorts had closed that told you Adam Aon had issued new shares to give to the shorts for them to close out of their short positions we all lying because actually shorts have increased their positions and not decreased the literal reported data shows that shorts have not closed their positions. It shows that shorts have not bought shares from Adam Aaron to close out of their positions or to reduce their shorted shares, and it shows actually the shorts have tripled their short positions, just the legally disclosed short positions, and have therefore add added significantly to their shorts. Recent data indicates a substantial decrease in the number of short positions held by a particular group, resulting in a lower liquidation price for their AMC short position. This decrease in short positions is the primary cause of the falling price of AMC. It is important to note that this decrease in supply of sold shares is not due to retail investors or Adam Aon selling shares, but rather the result of the increased number of shorted shares. There is a significant increase in comments on YouTube alleging that Adam Aaron has sold shares to short sellers and that these short sellers have subsequently closed their short positions. This is due to an increase in the number of shares sold by short sellers. Subsequently, contact them. Shields received compensation from individuals who deliberately spread false information and were clearly engaged in short selling. We executed our initial transaction on WNW, resulting in a 96% return. I would like to discuss two consecutive exceptional trades that occurred in the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group. Prior to the commencement of trading, WNW disseminated information to the global audience. The price experienced an increase followed by a decrease. Prior to our purchase, we patiently anticipated the pre-market surge. The price experienced a significant decrease, dropping from $155 per share to $35 per share. During the pre-market session, I informed the group about my intention to purchase shares. Additionally, I specified the exact moment at which I planned to sell the shares and secure my profits as the stock price increased from 10% to 36%. The remaining portion of the shares would be sold around the highest point of the upward trend, indicated by the top green. In addition, there was a distinct agreement that yielded a 40% gain. Therefore, I strongly recommend that you join the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group by clicking on the link provided in the description below before the fees increase next week. IC helpers have also reported via Twitter that the short interest in AMC has increased by over 6 million shares in the past five days, suggesting that those who have shorted the stock are unable to cover their positions. The data is based on self-reported information, indicating that short positions cannot be closed. Moreover, this serves as a clear illustration that the claim that Adam Aon is endorsing the shorts is false. As I previously stated, the shorts have actually quadrupled their short positions instead of closing them. On April 9th, 
a tweet indicated that there were 52.8 million shortfall shares. However, as of today, the number has risen to 53.78 million shares, indicating an additional 1 million shares were shorted within a day. The French Association of Market and Credit Analysts AMCA stated that the act of shorting at an all-time low and increasing a short position at an all-time low indicates that the individuals who are shorting the stock desire and actively seek bankruptcy, as they have entirely disconnected themselves from synthetic assets. The current method for shorts is limited to only one option. Given that short interest in AMC has tripled in recent weeks and reached an unprecedented level, it is evident that avoiding liquidation is imperative in the event of AMC's bankruptcy. Furthermore, the presence of scarcity in shares held by foreign brokerages, along with the additional synthetic shares, suggests that the quantity of artificially shorted shares has at least tripled compared to our previous estimates in 2021. If the quantity of officially reported deficit shares has tripled, it is highly probable that the number of synthetic shares has also tripled, particularly when taking into account the substantial amount of shares that are additionally being shorted. As previously mentioned, the sole means for these shorts to achieve success or exit their short positions is through the bankruptcy of AMC. Adam Aon has expressed his thoughts regarding this concept. Adam Aon has minimized the box office issues by expressing his belief that AMC is unlikely to undergo Chapter 11 bankruptcy proceedings. He expressed his belief that AMC would not need to undergo restructuring similar to Regal Cinemart and file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Given Aaron's optimistic forecast for robust box office performance in 2025 and 2026, along with his assertion that increased earnings lead to positive outcomes across the board, it appears that the issue has already been resolved. This fills me with great hope and excitement. However, our main objective is just to reach our destination, and it appears that both the shorts and the short thesis have been utterly obliterated. AMC is not facing bankruptcy or insolvency. The closure of the short positions is certain, as indicated by the statement. Curiously, the FDIC chief has also stated their belief that the United States is adequately equipped to handle a significant failure of a big Wall Street bank. The recent discourse initiated by the Federal Reserve and the chairman of the FBIC regarding the possible collapse of major Wall Street banks substantiates our longstanding conjectures and awareness. A squeeze of the same scale witnessed in the cases of AMC and GameStop would exert a substantial influence on the market and may potentially lead to the collapse of one or more Wall Street banks. Consequently, this would probably result in a significant decline in the stock market. It is worth noting that the FDIC has been reported to keep only 1.27% of all insured deposits in cash. As evident, this implies that the FDIC possesses a limited amount of liquid assets. The remaining money will unquestionably be sourced from other FDIC members, banks, hedge firms, and private equity funds. Each of these institutions will receive a financial rescue package and will be obligated to utilize funds from taxpayers to address their financial obligations. Please share your thoughts on this matter in the comments section below. Bell greetings to all of you. To ensure that you receive notifications whenever I publish a new movie, simply click on the bell symbol, as you always do. Thank you very much.